This evening you'll be driving one Oscar 30 to Stockport from here at Manchester Piccadilly. The train has been sat here for a while and requires it to be started from cold. In the meantime, you can start boarding passengers in time for your 1827 departure. Okay, to start the Voyager from cold, you need to insert the master key. And the train management system will do a self test. But it will start itself and then we have to cancel the alarms by pressing this fault reset button. Meantime, put the headlights to the day position. Turn the cover control to auto. Put on our instrument lights. Yeah, this email only takes about two minutes to start. So I press this button here, where my cursor is. So I'm pretty sure there's two uh, TMS alarms you need to cancel. Okay, now the TMS has fully configured itself by turning on. Oh, well, I meant now the TMS has turned on. Uh, put the reverser to neutral. Cancel the AWS. And now we can turn on the engines. Okay, with the engine on, we, we are now building air pressure. So, looking at the bottom left for the main reservoir, we need to wait for it to build to about 8 psi or 8 bars. It should take about a minute or two. Also, also when we have built up brake pressure, this uh, brake fault light will extinguish. Also, while we build brake pressure, we can also test the NRN by pressing this little blue button. This is an NRN radio test call. This is an NRN radio test call. Okay, now that we have eight bars on the main reservoir, the course our procedure is now complete.
The sort of spot in Manchester to Piccadilly speed limit is 15 miles an hour, and the next stop is Stockport, which is in about five and a half miles. So the scenario is called 1 Oscar 30-1827, Manchester Bay Daily to Bournemouth. During the evening peak, you'll be driving this cross-country service as far as Stockport. Please add the train from call before departing. So this is set in 2014, which is eight years ago. 2014 doesn't really sound that long ago in 2022. Anyway, our calling points are Manchester Piccadilly and at Stockport. Max speed is 110 because non tolerant trains can't use enhanced printed, printed speed like Pendos can. Now, so press S7 and F8 to change your destination to Bournemouth, which I forgot to do as well. The speed limit is now 45 miles an hour. Also, one of the greatest things in Manchester Piccadilly is that heading south, you can have up to three trains leaving at the same time. So one train, so on the far left, will could go towards Ardwick and Ashbury's. One train could be on the up fast going towards Stockport, and another train could be on the up slow going either to Stockport or Manchester Airport. I'm also using the um, Summer Force Simulations um, Meridian and Voyager Overhaul. I'll put a link to it in the description. So on the right, our view was Adric Depot, which is used by Transparent Express and Northern. And coming up next is a Longsight Depot, used by Avantic, Cross Country, Transpennine and Northern. Yeah, we've waited so long to have long sight, and now it's finally here. What's a shame is that, despite long sight having massive sheds, they're basically hollow on the interior. Which means, while long side doesn't have quite a few sidings, the main bit, it, the main bit in the sheds is basically unusable, which does detract away from the scenario potential. And so I'm pretty sure on one route, I think it's Leeds lines, where if you're in the shed at Crofton, you can pull up to the doors on the depot and they'll open. That would have been cool. Is the active? Does no, not. Now crossing on to the up fast towards Stockport. And to the right is the star line towards Manchester Airport, which opened in 1993. This is Eleven Show. station is Heaton Chapel and then Stockport. Yeah, let's turn the gimbal down a bit so you can actually hear me. Yeah, I didn't realise how close Man Pick and Stockport are until the whole valley came out. Well, the train, um, uh, man picked Stockport is normally like about seven minutes, depending on the calling pattern. It's not very long. This is Heaton Chapel. 
Next station is Stockport. The other scenario is literally 20 minutes. Yeah, I can't wait for uh, Crew Manchester. And hopefully, like an extension to like Stoke. So we can do like a full Voyager run from like Manchester to Piccadilly, through Stoke to Stafford, then Wolverhampton to Birmingham. Coming up now is Heaton North Junction. Line for the left joins from Guy Bridge and Manchester Victoria and Staley Bridge. Crossing over the M60, M62, M60. Then after that is the bus station for Stockport, and then after that is the High Bank House where the Tate Payment Stockport office is. And I'm coming in way too fast. This is Stockport. Yeah, it kind of fucks up. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> so yeah, this is where the video ends. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching this short video from Man Pick to Stockport. Like the video if you're also inclined. Subscribe if you like shit driving like this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.